something. <laughs> my skin's gonna start crawling off. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. I've got like this weird scab on my leg. It's just gonna turn black eventually. It's gonna get ugly. It's gonna get ugly. Uh, speaking of getting ugly, no. We got we got Derek J. Ouch. I know. <laughs> wow. Well, let's go from that is, that is that is the furthest thing from the truth, actually. Yeah. Let me let me reintroduce that. I'm gonna step in. Going from ugly to beautiful. Oh. We have Derek J. Ryan, with us right now. always the brown noser, man. I mean it, man. <laughs> hey, ladies. That's because I buttered him up on the break. Yeah. He did. Yeah, I know. I gotta do it. But no, I mean seriously. Like, and that's the thing. Like, um, here at the Porcupine Freedom Festival, happening in Lancaster, New Hampshire, on the campgrounds of Rogers. There are a lot of beautiful people, and that's the great thing about this every single year. I know earlier on today here on the Angel Clark Show, we were talking about the internet and Facebook and the freedom we have with that. And that's what's so incredible because like Derek Jay's a good example of that. Before we had an opportunity to meet face to face, we had met on the old Facey page and met on various online shows and on the Skype. And we only met a week ago in person. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was going to say that. It's amazing. I've been doing Corey's show for like 25 years now. Yeah, and Corey and I just met for the first time. Like never had we seen each other in real life before. And that's what I love about this gathering. You know, we're, we're on online, we're able to come together, but it's still online coming together. And here, here we all are gathered and actually face to face and spreading the ideas of liberty and freedom. It is really cool to see that my friends and co-hosts actually occupy space. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well put. It's not just a flat screen. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Hey, do you guys like my nails? Speak, you said there are a lot of beautiful people oh, here. Oh my we're goodness. All, Let me see those. We're all a little more beautiful today because there is a young lady oh, wow. who is painting nails up in Agora Valley, and uh, I think it's gonna be a hit for the Big Gay Dance Party. Oh, I agree. So get yours done, they're a dollar a coat. A dollar a coat? I, I'm gonna have that done because I actually wanted to revert. I used to paint get my nails. nails did. I used That's to what paint I said. my I used to paint my nails, and I mean, I was a fanatic about it. Black. Yeah, okay. and see, some, I'm black and silver. I, me too, that's what I used to do. I would do black on the edges and then like a silver streak, and I would uh, do like three coats. I had the overcoat. Why did you do that? Were you a goth? Um, I've always been a little goth in my soul. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you've got and, a black heart. And see, like, I remember, I remember, I, I kind of did it for the ladies. No, my heart is, my heart is golden. And, oh, and that's okay. A, and the whole goth thing, I could, I, I could get into that and, like, take up an hour of time. But, no, the thing is, the ladies really liked it, because I was always, like, kind of, like, uh, Western looking, but then I had the black nails. Yeah, I'm surprised by that. Mm -hmm. It's even more bad boy than your average cowboy. Mm -hmm, exactly. That's what I always I thought. It's what it is. One step over the line is kind of where I always took that. Second horse we're at a cowboy. Exactly. <laughs> I so, encourage that. Are you guys going to be at the big gay dance party tonight? Uh, probably not. Come on, Corey. You no, were I, such a hit I know, last but year. I didn't bring an outfit and I got to prepare for my show tonight. You don't need an outfit. No, Come no, on. No. Shake I'm your not, groove I, thing. I'll, I'll, I'll poke my head in. I loved that. seeing. Can you tell everyone last year? I've already told everyone. Yeah. I, okay, I dressed up you, in drag. You were a lady. You fooled me. I thought <laughs> you were a lady. A very well ugly lady, but. A well lady done. <laughs> well, tonight, this time I got fishnets and heels. I didn't have a costume last year. Because I was like, ah, whatever, I'll just go as me, whatever. But this year, the goth dance party kind of got like rained out. I didn't want to wear my fishnets and heels like in the mud. Yeah, but... exactly. So I saved them. This time I'm going to wear them for the dance party. Oh, so yeah. it's going to be fun. I come have a fishnet fetish. That's, yeah, <laughs> my, my mind just went into weird places, Derek. It well, really did. Come get your mind blown. I will. I will. I'm going to pop in there too. I know we've got uh, more commitments after the Angel Clark show. But yeah, I want to definitely make a little appearance. I have a special shirt that Nikki Darling put together for me today. Oh, she's so, terrific. Yeah, she is. Didn't she? Yeah, she was on a historic episode of the Freedom Fiends like two nights ago. Mm. A live episode that happened here. Speaking of everyone mm -hmm. meeting in meat space, yeah, yeah, that was exactly that really contributes, I think, to quality shows, quality radio. It's like being able to feed off of one another's energy, look into yes. each other's eyes. That's uh, that's an important component that we kind of lose over Skype, isn't it? We really do. We were talking about that yeah. actually because you know the show we did last Friday was probably one of the best shows we ever done. It was because we're sitting right across from each yeah. other. Yeah. And like feeding off of each other's energy, and you know, you really lose that when you're remoting in, unfortunately. Do you think Skype will get to the point where we can actually break through that wall? Because like, 
for me, just hearing audio is one level of, of me, you know, knowing a person and then you hear their voice and you recognize it. Whoa! Right. But then when you've seen someone on Skype, as I've seen you, Brian Hagen, and you, Corey Moore, it, there's less of a shock value when I see you in person because I've already sort of seen your 360 view. And uh, so I'm like, of course, of course that's them. You know, there's no magic to it. Like, I, oh, I, of course I recognize you. Well, maybe we need to get on camera more often and strip. So, I mean, you really know the real us before you meet us in person. And then, but again, as I always say on my show, it's not that kind of cam show. Right. No, no, no. You do a terrific cam show. I, I love to tune in to the Corey Moore show. You've got uh, an active chat room, too. I'm so, always so jealous of that. Your, your chat room is like, uh, you do a good job with that. Love it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I like your show. You do Peace News Now. I do, and I interact with my chat room as well, but mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's uh, I don't know, it's hard, harder for me to uh, get interaction. Like, do you ever have the problem where the chat room's talking about completely other all stuff? The all the time. What's with yes. that? But you just I don't lie. know. You just lie and say, that's what I do. Come that's, that's, people <laughs> come in and start talking about what you're talking about. Why yeah. do you think they even go there? Just to find like-minded people who are just not listening to the shows? Pretty or do much. they listen in the background? Or I, I think they're listening in the background. It's funny, Derek. I had said to Corey earlier on this edition of the Angel Clark show, I, I said to him, uh, I met one of our chat room uh, friends last really? night. Which yeah. one? Uh, Michael Goomblatch, I believe his yeah, name was. Yeah, but what's was. his chat Oh, name? I know Mike. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, Mike's just, fantastic. Just a nice guy, and he's always in, and I think that is his name in the chat room, yeah. if, I'm, if I'm correct. Oh, okay. and, yeah, so he didn't really hide behind, you know, an anonymous name. I, I always right. appreciate that, too, but um, yeah, just a nice guy, and it was kind of, that, to me, was really cool, putting a face with the name from the chat room. That was so different and unique. I love that. And he's a great listener I to all the shows. I would kind of wish Kickstart 42 was here because I would break the non-aggression principle to jump. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think actually it wouldn't be? Because he's he's offered Angel Clark when I was visiting her down in Delaware. He offered her 42 light coins to chop off my lips. So, Kickstart, <laughs> if you're here, come and find me. We're going to... What a this jerk. Out. Yeah, I know, but, right? But I've always laughed about that, Derek. Every time Corey tells the story, Corey's like mad. And I'm like, that's hilarious. The guy offered Litecoin to decapitate you, Corey. You know, speaking of Litecoin, I've been able to use some pretty awesome cryptocurrencies. I never <laughs> thought I would actually use Doge in real life, but I did it today. I bought this water bottle with Dogecoin wow. today. Oh. 1,000 Doge for this water bottle. <laughs> and that's why Bitcoin is the only alternative currency. No. Um, <laughs> it, it is great to see that the Porcupine Freedom Festival is the place to be. If you're not here, you need to be here next year. Give it to Angel Clark Show at uh, RadioFreedom.us. Thanks, guys. You want me to stay? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's do it. I want to talk about the you moving back to Keene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't even get into that. That'd be cool. I started doing something when I heard the music beds come in that I was like, oh, I need to uh, start recording because like I could do this meta thing, which is like what I'm doing right now. Like, nice. So we've been recording for the last uh, eight minutes. Cool. And I'm like recording me, recording you, we're recording live. Nice. There's so much That's recording great. happening right now. I know, it's, so I'm just going to set it down. I think I'll... Meta, it's like, I'm I know. Here, I'm there, we're out there. And out. I know, we're everywhere. So I'm going to record the audience now. Oh, that's, that's perfect. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to use the restroom real quick. Hi, audience. Hello, audience. Hi, Amanda. Hi. Good to see you. Hi, Shire, dude. That's fine. Hey, I heard that Doge mention up there. I'm just throwing it out. I'm still in there. You and Derek and Corey. I didn't even just look at it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yes, I was mentioning Doge. I'm going to use that. You haven't used Doge here? Well, no, I'm going to use that mention in my video. Oh, sweet. Yes. Yeah, I, I used Dogecoin to get uh, something from Thunder Doge. I haven't even used Bitcoin. I can't log into my app. I don't know how. I'm going to turn the mic. It's weird anyway, but I had the worst eggs there. Oh, you're recording me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you that out. No. Oh, thanks, Derek. <laughs> you have the worst what? I had the worst eggs there. Eggs? Yeah. At Thunder Doge? At Thunder Doge. Oh, oh no, the truth comes out. Actually, <laughs> I ate a good burger there. I, it was good, but it, pricey, but hey, yeah, supply price. and demand. Yeah. And the hot dogs were the right price and also very good, though. 
so I could I can support the hot dogs and the water mm -hmm. and they accept doge which is awesome one of the other vendors guys uh, accepts dark coin oh really I know like Wow. Like, yeah, that's whoa. even more obscure. I know. He accepts yeah. Litecoin. I, I like coin. having a competition. What is the most obscure cryptocurrency? Uh, uh, I agree. Well, Dark coin, nobody, definitely. Nobody takes freaking Litecoin. Who the hell wants that crap? Yeah. Exactly. There's uh, Thunder Doge takes Litecoin. Take and, Litecoin? and so, Why yeah. Litecoin? And so Litecoin's does. Litecoin's gone up in value. Making Litecoin. Making Bacon Pancakes accepts Bitcoin. Or you accepts. Uh, Litecoin. Litecoin. Mary. I'm going to trade it in for Bitcoin pretty quick. Howdy. Are you building Welcome. Food for Brandon Hayden? Yes. No, right here, right here, right here. That's for me? Oh, okay. wow. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Wow. So where are you from? Never, never both. Oh, my uh, goodness. What just happened oh. here? Oh, okay. uh, Taryn well, DeLupo just set this up. Cool. I, I am Taryn's girlfriend. He takes good care of me. That was a fat joke. I'm just giving you food without you asking. <laughs> 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 oh, I actually okay. wish that happened more often. You look hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Hello, Amanda. Mm. Oh, Are you producing for me tonight? I thought I was on mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. I thought I had Ellen on. Mm -hmm. That is not my understanding. So uh, they're going to be moving. Then, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm about to keep produce for you tonight. Thank you. I haven't done yet. I've never been there. I'm not sure. I don't know. That's just a weird part of the time of the year for me, like November. Mm. So, who do you, you want to have as a guest tonight? Mm. So, so green. Good, good base. People! I'm meeting people! So I got Paige Peterson to start us out, Mark Warden to talk about uh, legislative victories, Margot Keys to talk about guns, um, Soul Salad. Is he actually going to show up tonight? Um, she, so she claims. But I know you had her on the list a couple nights ago. Too. Yep. Joel Salatin um, should be on 830. That's my most important of the evening. What segment are we on? Yeah, we're 33. Yeah. Joel Williamson to talk about um, agorism. This revolutionary new topic called agorism. Been around for three decades and hasn't done crap except this one. Um, and Don Fox about the world. Okay. Like this? Yes. Can you get your libraries ready for you or you? And welcome back to the Andrew Clark Show, RadioFreedom.us. You can find out more about the show. AndrewClark.us. You can download all the archives. Hopefully this week, I believe Angel is out there in Delaware having a good time uploading these. She's probably making famous Dave do it, of course. <laughs> of I, I'm, course. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Angel Clark is sitting there on a uh, playing games all week. I know she wouldn't be at Pork Fest, so it didn't quite work out, but let's hope she's here next year. Yes. There's a hotel issue. That's what I understood. Yeah. Someone about trying to book a hotel, and they booked it, and they got double booked, and I hate it when that sort of thing happens, man. Yeah, Angel uh, does not do camping, apparently. You know... I do camping, but very poorly, Corey. I mean, it's been all I can stand camping. I wish I had a hotel room, and that is something I'm going to do next year. We always, I always say that, and I never do it. I'm definitely doing it. I There's, can't justify the cost. It's like, oh, I can't. It's like ridiculous. Uh, uh, a thing called a shower that justifies every bit of cost for me. Fair enough. I'm a smelly big dude. I sweat <laughs> a lot, right? Okay, in my daily life, I'm showering like two times a day at least, along with my spray-on powder, which is so much better than the powder powder. Yeah. Love the spray-on. I've been trading that out with people all week. What's the powder for? Oh, the... Um, okay, so you're it, not fat, so you don't understand this. Yeah. But, uh, it, when, you're, when you're a little bit overweight, you have folds and, right. and, and, and sweat collect. Yes. I, let's not get into it too much. It's chafing. Kind of chafing. But, it causes yeah. chafing, Derek J. <laughs> Um, yeah. And what kind of powder do you use? Oh, uh, what I use, I, I use Gold Bond spray-on powder. Uh -huh. A lot of people, and, and Taron Lupo was just thrilled this week when I showed it to him. 
um, he didn't know that they made a spray on because usually people use just you know like regular baby powder or whatever. Well, like I use lotion. I use lotion every day. I like uh -huh. you know after a shower, I cover my body in some good moisturizer. Sure, is that, is that, that the same thing? Or is it no a different it's, idea? It's a different idea. I mean, kind of the same concept, but it goes in the uh, more nether region sort of area. Oh, well, I'm trying to say all right, all right. It keeps a, it keeps a fresher uh, feel all day long. Well, you're selling me. I, I, I want to start doing this. You'll love it. It I love burns it. a little bit. It but does, but it's a good burn. It's a good burn. After it burns like the first couple of times, you're like looking forward to it when you wake up after a shower. All right. Trust me, I recommend it. It's like five ninety eight a bottle and it'll last you a year. I can't believe we're after promoting well, I'm honestly one. curious. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you're not you, paid you, by you, gold, by the no, way. No. no, no. I wish I was. Oh my goodness, if I could get an endorse. I'm the perfect endorsement deal for those guys. I really hey, I'm am. I'm fat and I don't smoke. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I, have, I haven't changed since I started using the medicated spray on powder. Fresh scent. Always get the fresh scent. Not the original. It smells like menthol. Oh, I like menthol. That's what I'm getting. Oh. <laughs> the audience knows what's up. They like it too. <laughs> yeah, they do. So Derek, you moved back to Keene, you did the victimless crime spree movie, you, yes. you pleaded New Hampshire so you wouldn't be put into a cage for 92 years. It worked! Yeah, Can you it believe worked. it? All I had to do was leave. Yeah, uh, I thought it was, it was, you know, my best shot at staying out of a cage was to leave Keene because that's pretty much the only place I've been arrested. Uh, there was only one time in New Jersey when I, I backed into a field to go smoke some pot and they were like, hey, uh, we, we just busted a guy here 15 minutes ago. <laughs> so, How so, uh, timing on that? Yeah, oh, honestly, uh... I like just backed into the spot and the cop lights went on right behind me. I'm like, how the hell is there someone behind me? They were like, we were just waiting here. Someone just <laughs> busted 15 minutes. So, there, in Keene, I was arrested five times. I was carrying my video camera around as I like always do. I love to document my life. I'm filming right now. Right now, so meta. The camera around. It's it is creepy, but I'm willing to test those limits. I'm willing to test those limits, and uh, that's what like we're doing that. here today. So I followed myself around with the video camera and made a documentary out of all these exciting arrests because it was really just me attempting to live free. That's why I was inspired to move to Keene, wanted to pursue my dreams and uh, live without those silly restrictions on victimless crimes, things like smoking pot uh, and needing to ask permission to film a, a bureaucrat or inside a government building, stuff like that. So uh, that was entertaining, but then uh, I was charged with crimes that made me uh, up to 540 days in a cage. I only had to serve 60 of those days, so I was only in a cage for 60 of them. Uh, but then the rest is all suspended on the condition that I am well behaved. And so uh, that well, lasted be a good two years. Slave. Yeah, Why? Well, I, I had be to be a good slave, Derek J. Anything. It could have been jaywalking. Anything uh, that was a misdemeanor, anything that would have been a jail time, wow. would have been enough for me to be sent back into a cage for three years plus, like Ridiculous. whatever they wanted to add. So I, I just went to my home in Philadelphia. I got a little apartment. I produced a podcast called Peace News Now out yeah. of there. Uh, so Ooh. something kind of good was born out of it. After leaving Keene, I, I did Peace News Now. I'm still doing that show. It's twice a week on LRN.FM. And um, now, a month ago, I moved back to Keene. Now that the two years suspended sentence is over, and I am free and clear. I'm on my way to getting my driver's license. I'll get all my gun permits. And now I am thoroughly corrected, Corey. And I, <laughs> I, I, am, I am corrected after the, being in the House of Corrections, and I will ask for permission from all the government <laughs> forms. Oh, I will fill out all you. the papers. I yeah. will carry my papers to prove I'm an American right. citizen, submit a sin. And uh, that's, <laughs> yeah, like that's, that. that's how I'm living yes. now. And I want to be focused and choose my activism. My, my, my focus, instead of going all willy-nilly like I'm going to break every law that I want to, right. is going to be I'm going to follow all the laws that I can put up with and I'm going to break the laws that are really important. The ones that I think are the most important right now are the right to record in New Hampshire. Agreed, yeah. New Hampshire has horrible right to record laws and I come <laughs> from New Jersey where it's single party consent. So if you're part of a conversation, you have the right to record that conversation. Yeah. That's how it is where I'm from, too. Yeah. Where there's all party consent. It, isn't it like 10, I think? It, it's not, I don't even think it's that many. I think no. it's like three or four. Is it, yeah, like, it's, yeah, no more than five. You're right. It, it's not a lot. And I can't believe in the land of live free or die, 
that you can go to jail, as we saw from a demo from Coplock, go to jail for recording a conversation with a public with, with, with a public person paid with tax <laughs> exactly. dollars. Yeah, well, it, they, it's used for political reasons. Obviously, sure. the uh, people who it's used against are people like Adamo, who founded CopBlock.org, a police accountability website. And all he was doing was recording a public servant while they were at their job, uh, at their in the course of their duties as yeah. a public servant. So they are trying to say that that's wiretapping. Uh, that, that's something that needs to be fought and won in Absolutely. New Hampshire, in my opinion. So oh, that's, I agree completely. That's going to be my focus right now in Keene. And I, I started focus. up a blog. It used to be livefreeyourdance.com. I converted it over to something easier to remember. DerekJ.me is like my new personal blog. And it's got oh, all the live videos that I take every day from here from Porkfest all the way to stuff that's highly produced for Freeman TV or Peace News Now. So you can check it out at uh, DerekJ.me. That's my latest projects. That's awesome. You've got so much going on. You're like such a big, busy dude. You're one of the few people in this movement who is really a doer and a shaker. And yeah. I mean, I respect you so much. Even if I don't always agree with some of your tactics, I just respect <laughs> you uh, for the fact that you're actually out there doing something. Because there's so many keyboard, uh, keyboard activists who just go on and on and we need to do this, we need to do that. And they don't, they don't produce anything at all. So, I mean, I have to re have respect for someone... Who, Me too. Who is doing that kind of activism. And it's, Thanks, man. I really hope, though, that this time you don't end up in a cage. Yeah, I agree. Hey, I want to hear your criticisms. What uh, what don't you agree with my activism? About? Oh, boy, oh, you opened a can of worms. We've, got, uh, <laughs> we've actually got one more segment left. Yeah, on we're going to so, let's hold you over, yeah, Derek you know, J. We can have this discussion. I, I yeah. think it could be really interesting. I, you know, it's pretty tame, but I, there are some things. I even sent you a Facebook message about one of those a uh, long time ago. Oh, so huh. if you can remember back on that one. Revealing. Uh, can, Keep listening, uh, the Angel Clark Show, RadioFreedom.us. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. No, that's fantastic. I'm glad you got that in there, Derek. Uh, <laughs> you were say bye to you guys. Uh -huh. I gotta hear this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the 